Welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have a new reading. This is with regards to 17th group. Okay, so anyway, this is requested to me by Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, Saint Haniel, and Saint Metatron the Archangels because during this period it is a period of contemplation for this group. Most members are growing up, growing mature. And as a mature man, okay, they are now looking for a partner. And I feel like some of them are really quitting on being, let's say, into passion thing only, okay? They are serious masculines compared to BTS. That's what I'm sensing as well. And we're being called on to make readings not only for fun, but to see what really is going on and to be aware if our person or people are doing well okay especially during this pandemic and of course some of them are homesick because they could be missing their family and they have been away and the angels say to me that these masculines are trying to be better again their performance and they're a bit busy during this time, the angels say they haven't had have much break with regards to their career work. But if they do, it may take um, just days okay, to do that. So is there anything else? They tell me that we are releasing these celebrity readings because people need to know about their encounters with regards to love situation. And of course, uh, Reasoning is so we'll be aware what it feels like to be a celebrity and of course if you have money like they also want to show to the world that having this popularity money and you know gain <laughs> gains in life will not fulfill you okay and of course there is some advantage and there is also some disadvantage and it's very rare to to them for them to find a partner because most people are expecting them to actually make the effort with regards to connections and of course supply the money and wealth in their family. Okay, so they're expecting this man to make them from poor to rich, okay, but it's not how it will work. In the beginning, it might be unless they mature, but the angels say to me, these masculines are being called on to be practical, to be wise, and to, to pray closely to God so they will be divinely guided in terms of their connections. Okay, so is there anything else? That's it, they say. So let's proceed on with the readings. For the first part, we're gonna begin on what's going on with this group, with 17 group. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's going on with 17. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Ooh. That flow. I feel nervousness here. <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm, what's going on with them? I feel like they're excited with their project and I feel like they got humiliated a lot in I feel like social media because people could be comparing them with other groups but we'll see what else we have angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with 17 they have been humiliated a lot that's also what I get I'm sensing the word sinisiraan, which means they're getting humiliated. I 
I don't know why, but I also sense popularity drop off. Hmm, interesting. Wonder what's going on with these people. But we will figure it out. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's going on with 17. The angels say they need a break from social media, especially if some people are really bashing them because some of them, it's getting into their head. They gave it regards to the bashes. Anyway, so this is the overall energy and this is the outcome one more. They need a nurturing, loving partner is what I sense here, okay? So, but they're a bit scared, I feel. But we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I really feel like they're unfulfilled, unsatisfied, unhappy. Like they don't know if they're worthy of being out there. I feel like it's because of the competition in groups, okay? I feel like they encountered a lot of karmic in their life because they're popular, they're rich. And I feel like they feel hatred because some of them, they got boxed up by even their own I feel like family members. Another, they tell me. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading, okay? So what's going on? This is actually Angel of Motivation. It's in reverse. So I really feel like the bashers, okay, is getting the best of them. It's make them feel stuck and lonely. Okay, so that's why they they need really some time to rest or some time to at least chill, okay, away from social media because honestly, these bashers is making them feel stuck, okay? They're really heartbroken and some of them, I feel here that they want to feel like they want to realize why this has been happening, why there are bashers, and with the eight of wands in reverse so i feel like whenever it happened they kind of feel lazy or not in the mood to do their work so that's the energy here so first card that we got is this one so this is about awakening so i have a feeling here okay these people okay they have been working very hard since they are little um, probably because of their training period, honestly. And I have a feeling here some of them are spiritually awake and aware, but some are not yet. Okay, they're still babies because I feel here that um, they are forced to be mature in a very young age. So if ever there's a case situation, they have a tendency to be stuck and to wander around. And I really feel like that is... Um, keep them sad because I feel like of lack of enjoyment in their life. Though they have this wealth, I feel like they're really unfulfilled and satisfied. And that's why they feel empty like the emperor reverse. Like though they reach and everything, there's something missing in their life. Okay, I feel like that is the cup, the, the love that they need to to show themselves because they have been working very hard they forgot to chill that's what happens so you may see them enjoying with regards to what they're doing but deep within you know there's something missing always 
So, I feel like these people are a bit scared or worried about their reputation and of course the group because they think that it may fall apart because there's really a lot of pastures based on the energy here. Okay, and I'm really sensing like they really need some time to rest and realize this other two cups standing here rather than the pastures because honestly, you know, they keep on looking at it and they're thinking like, oh, it's going to be our downfall. We have a lot of pastures, okay? So these people need to chill, okay? Because they're not really happy of what has been happening in the social media thing, okay? And I have a feeling here that they need to balance it out. Like they need to focus on their work even more and not mind whatever these bashers has been saying because honestly, what they have is something stable, okay? And I feel like they need to put their their senses together, okay, avoid looking too much on the buzzers because that's really affecting them drastically, this is the energy. So I have a feeling with this one, so I have a feeling here they're too focused on work, money making, to the point that they really forgot these cups. Cups is more about emotion, okay, and they have been, could be pre pretending to be happy, okay but this is in reverse it means like they could be lying on something so this is the reality so they are like this in you know whatever they show in social media but to be honest they feel really empty inside with the nine of cups reverse sun is here and they know that they're being dishonest to others and themselves okay like they could be fooling people around that they're happy but they're sad really Okay, so the next thing that we got is this one. So I'm sensing here that they really need some time to love themselves, to treat themselves well. And I feel like they're a bit scared of love though, because I feel like right now they, they could be thinking a lot about the bashers, social media, and that really keeps them stuck here. And just repeats on the reading and with the king of wands last lost motivation again okay, due to the bashers here so they need some time to rest and be away from social media okay because i have a feeling here that they really need to release themselves from the negativity because this is still in reverse like they're still getting caught up with whatever people are saying okay so let's see about the outcome so for an outcome i do see here that I feel they could be praying that people may just let them be. Um, people may just, you know, not bash them and see them in a good way because I'm sensing here that people could be thinking negatively about this group. And then the next is this one. So this is Angel of Victory. So I think this is what they need to focus on rather than on the backstabbers or the negativity that is being said to them. So the next outcome is this one. So despite of these bashers and negativity, actually the divine is giving them, you know, strength okay, to work. But yet they're still focused on this negativity, which is really sad, okay? These people need some time, actually, a break to love themselves and to look within and to realize that the bashers, their words are not really true. It's something that's really pulling them down and not seeing the brighter perspective that, hey, this work is really, you know, meant for them and they work hard for it and they deserve it, okay? Um... That's what I'm seeing here. Like, they don't really need to focus too much on this um, five of ones here, which is about competition. Because, of course, if you focus too much on competition, that will really make you feel sad and worried. Or, of course, you will be, have that anxiety and worry over nothing. Because, honestly, if you're out there, this is my advice for those who are out there being a YouTuber or an influencer, guys. It's very important not really to mind about, you know, those other channels or those other influencers that's around you. Because if you keep on looking at them and then you will... 
you know, you will react badly or copy whatever. Oh my gosh, it is a never-ending cycle of you getting depressed and worry seeing the status. Because honestly me, I don't really view those status thing. I don't mind. Because honestly, I'm angelic base here. I'm just following the orders from heaven. So why would I bother about those bashers? So these people really need to realize that, hey, I build my foundation. I work hard for where I am. And I deserve my place. Okay, you get what I mean? They they need to stop worrying about the bashers. Because look at this. This is in reverse. They let um people's um bad what they call these bullies, criticism, get the best of them to the point that they forgot to look at themselves. They forgot to look how good they are at work, okay, how balanced they are, but they let these nasty people get into their head. So if ever you follow this group, guys, please, okay, cheer them up. So anyway, let's see with the stones. No wonder why the angels are pushing me to make their reading. Okay, so don't really bash other members, guys. Okay, um, actually be be just in what they call this in the middle of crossroads. Because honestly, if you watch a lot of videos with regards to um the songs, okay, I like Treasure, I like Seventeen, I like BTS, okay. So I'm just in the between world. I like also twice, honestly. Okay. So anyway we got this one. So I feel like it's never any cycle in their head, in their mind about these people, these pastors and it's really cautioning them. Okay, so I really feel like these people really needs to be sweet to themselves, like at least nurture themselves, be away from social media, because look at that, they could have a lot of angry bashers, I don't know what they did, so it's just words that bring them down, my gosh, they really need to get rid of it, so with this one, marriage, so i'm sensing like some of them could be thinking about having a family but let's see if one of them has a family actually i didn't do my research based on this one with regards to 17 because i tried to be detached from these people okay anyway with this one so and with this, okay, so I really feel like they really need to focus on their career, on what they have going on. And I feel like with regards to spirituality, some of them are in awakening process because of this card, okay? So anyway, they could be studying on how to get rid of the negativity, okay? Anyway, so let's see what else we have here. So we got this one, so I feel like there are a lot of pastures really and they need really to focus on their work and suddenly my throat chakra hurt <clears throat> so i have a feeling here okay like the divine is really preventing them from actually um same things to these pastures because suddenly i sense like my throat chakra hurt because they're fo they need to focus on work on money making rather than this negativity so that's what they need to work on too to rather reject be classy and not to mind these haters okay because this is what they feel because of the haters they feel like you know no one is listening to their songs nobody is you know liking them they could be comparing themselves a lot to other groups and that's the reason why they kind of feel negative okay about themselves and anyway what's going on here is that they need to be happy and satisfied on where they at okay and they need some time alone time space to at least contemplate okay that they work hard on where they at and they don't have to be stuck with this negativity because i really feel like the pastures makes them look negatively on themselves which is really not good and these pastures their intention was actually to destroy this group from pushing forward 
Okay, so I really feel like heaviness here. Like there's bashers, there's angry people. I wonder why they're angry, honestly. But they will tackle on it if ever in there is a group member that encounter this trouble. Okay, so of course, if you're an influencer, you cannot avoid bashers, guys. I would say you cannot. Okay, you may see few only in my channel because of what? I ignore those people. I rather block them rather than, you know, always encounter negativity on my channel. And honestly, that is making your channel be more at peace. It's better that way rather than keeping these negative people. And when you come across to your channel, you feel like unwelcome anymore because of too much negativity. Okay, so I have a feeling here that these people really needs to let go of this negativity and, you know, just focus on their work, on their career and not mind too much about the, what they call this, competition, okay, at the workplace. So with the chaos and conflict here, so I really feel like they are somebody who's thinking a lot about this conflict, okay? with regards to bashers, okay, or competition at work. So anyway, yeah, they are, I feel like being pushed by heaven to continuously do their job, okay, because we see that here, like the angels are actually helping them out, okay. And focus on those fans or those people that really do care about them. And I really feel like with this piece here, so I think that they are, could be awakening, Okay, awakening to focus on their peace of mind rather than this disruptive energy, okay? So with this, a leg up and serendipity. So this is what they need to focus on. They need to see that there are still people that believes in them. I feel like if ever you're a follower of 17, you better uplift them, okay? Because this negativity is getting the best of them, okay? So with this truth be told and why. So I think that these people really need to realize the truth of the situation here. Okay. Rather than um thinking like whatever the bully has said is true to themselves. Because honestly, if you got it to yourself, it you may accidentally think negatively of yourself. So they really need to do some soul searching work to do and realize that whatever these bashers, bullies are saying are not actually true about themselves. Right? They're just doing their job. They need to avoid thinking like they're doing this for competition. They need to think that they're doing their job. They're doing what they love to do. Right? Rather than thinking, hey, I'm in competition. Okay? Because honestly, if you're thinking a lot about competition, you're just like, you know, bumping into the wall. <laughs> Honestly speaking, okay, like it's kind of nonsense, right? So it's okay to be like in com competitiveness or whatever, but let me remind you, do this, do these things because this is what you're good at. Okay, don't mind too much about competition because that will make you feel sad and worried if ever your expectation is not met. Okay, because, you know, to be honest, because of too much, um, what they call this, expectation that really broke our heart. So with this message in the battle and media, yeah, they, they are really reading. They are reading a lot about compliments, about the comments too. They really need to mend their heart in regards to whatever tell them bad things too, okay? So with this regeneration and the faith, so I really feel here that they need to realize that they are where they are because of their hard work, okay? They need to congratulate themselves somehow because, you know, the angels say they deserve this place on where they are, okay? And they shouldn't let these bullies get the best of them, okay? So that's what they need to learn. Okay, and learn to love themselves rather than always thinking about what will people think about me, my reputation. Okay, so I think that 
you know that is what they need to learn i hope that they're watching this so they may learn it <laughs> all right so is there anything else that's it they say so let's see about you know what's going on with the other members of 17. Well, let's begin first with escopes i don't know if i pronounce it right so let's see angels and guides this will be guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with air scopes. They show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. I sense that this person is energetic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. and let's see what else we have here angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know <coughs> what's going on with escopes really i cough okay and i don't know if this person is sick but you'll see Another they tell me. I feel like this could be the leader of the group. Okay, and I'm sensing like this person's trying to nurture each people in the group, trying to be there for others, trying to see if everyone is doing well. Um I feel like this person is somebody who's scared of losing one of the members of the group. That's why he look out after every people in the group. So, wow. I would say the energy is really draining for him, I feel. So, we'll see. But he's energetic though. <laughs> Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with escopes. Whenever I sense this person, my throat chakra hurt. I wonder why, but we will figure it out. So this is overall energy that's affecting the reading and what's the outcome. Another detail. This is interesting because we got four and four outcome. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna clarify. Probably whenever you see four, it, it reminds you of this person. Because honestly, some people will leave you significant numbers, okay? So that whenever um they try to make you remember them you will see a certain number okay because i have a certain person in my life like when he came to my life i always see five okay so whenever i see five it reminds me of him anyway so his scopes is four so you're gonna clarify angels and guides Please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. First, also about stability. What's behind the cards presented here? This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I'm really sensing a song strongly. I don't know if he encounter a karmic partner, but the song is Get Over You, or I think it's Over You. Actually, it's like a moving on song, okay? Um, but I'm gonna write it so that we can be aware if it will resonate with the reading. So let's... So I was able to write the song. So we'll just place it here and read it right after the theme, okay? So anyway, let's see. 
So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So this person is not yet awakened, okay? Because it is in reverse. This person, I really feel like there's a lot of misfortunes that happened in his life. And actually, I feel like with a hermit, he really needs awakening work to do. And I'm sensing like he's taking, you know, the awakening process. He's letting go of any sort of addictions or, let's say, I don't know why, but I sense bad karma because of this negativity that he may have, okay? And I feel like right now... He's a bit scared of something. That's what I'm feeling here. Like he's not moving forward because it's not at awakened or lack of. Um, I feel like there's a lot of misfortunes. So he really needs to see why this misfortunes has happened. Okay. But let's see. But despite of it, there is a blessing here. Like he's being given a chance to see why it's happening, okay? That he needs to get rid of this toxic behavior, addiction, whatever it is. Because I see that there's really a blockage here. So first card that we got is this. So new beginning in reverse. So with the death. So I think that this person really needs to change. Okay? change so that he may have a new beginning so that he may be awakened okay i feel like um i don't know but i really feel like there's something missing in him he needs to mature more that's what i feel so i really see that the divine is actually giving him um, some signals, some signs of what he needs to change so that he may get away from misfortunes, okay? So he may grow mature. So I feel like this person is starting to realize a lot of things in his life because honestly, whoever this individual is, he is driven, okay, with regards to the present, the future. But I feel like he's lacking to see the past, why certain bad things has happened, and I feel like he is learning how to become a mature person. So that's what's going on with him. Could be all his life, he's focused on work, money making to the point that he forgot the good, um, the aspect of, you know, him changing some patterns so that he may have new opportunities because I really feel this energy is not really grounded, honestly speaking. Okay. Like, um, it's not standing on a stable ground kind of vibe. Okay, like there's misfortune that happened in the past year. And honestly, I feel like with regards to Mercury retrograde, I think it's very hard for this person because he's being shown on missed opportunities, what he taken for granted is also what I'm sensing here. And my head suddenly hurts. So this person has been thinking a lot these days, okay? I'm sensing a thinking man. Anyway, so with regards to him, I feel like he could be somebody who's stubborn. Okay? Uh, could be some people are kind of showing him what he needs to change. Okay? But he's kind of defensive, like kind of demanding in nature, like trying to prove that he's always right, even though not. Okay, so I feel like the divine what's going on is actually sending him people that will remind him of this certain bad attitude or aspect of himself that is not really helpful, that he needs to let go of. Okay, and change to be a better person. I wonder why I kind of sense in the energy, like the misfortunes happened to him is actually kind of like a build up of bad karma honestly could be in the past you could be nasty or i don't know but i really feel like this is somebody who has a strong persona a strong attitude like i feel like sometimes he took things for granted that's also what i get here um anyway let's see what else we got so this is actually the angels are really showing him um i feel like misfortunes Things that he took for granted, really. Just repeat on the cards here. Okay. And with the sun being here, so... <laughs> it reminds me of Leo. 
I don't know why, but it's not a strength card. Anyway, so with the sun being here, I really feel like this person is actually showing to the world that he's happy, but he's not really happy. He has a lot of um, bad things that happened to him, which make him feel sad and worried about his life. So he's always thinking and thinking a lot. Okay, and... This person really needs to purge a lot of pain in his heart because that is what the divine is showing to him, okay? And I feel like he could be scared and shocked of whatever the heaven is showing to him. Could be in the dreams, could be he is being shown some signs about the person that could be he hurt in the past because I really feel strongly here that he could have hurt somebody. That's why there's a lot of misfortunes. Okay, it could be this person or misunderstandings, the angels say. Could be this person, somebody who's kind of like a narcissistic an energy sometimes. Like all he cares about is happiness and joy, like he forgot about people's emotions. So that's what's being shown to him by angels. Okay, like he needs to let go of this bad attitude because it's not really healthy especially if he work in groups like he needs to learn how to care for others okay so anyway this is the outcome so for the outcome that we got here so yeah no wonder why we have that song there is somebody that he left in the cold okay and this person is taken for granted by escopes that's what happened here and I feel that this person somebody who's authentic and what happened here is that this person didn't treat that person well okay mistreated and that's the reason why with regards to this energy here that's the reason why misfortune has happened to him bad karma and it's being shown to him that this is somebody, I feel like it's with regards to love connection. Like, this is somebody that he has a potential to have a connection with. And I feel like God is showing this person, you know, that he shouldn't do what he did in the past. Okay? So, he's kind of realizing things, feeling guilty about the past. Okay? So, the next thing that we got is this one. So... I really feel like this person really is regretful of walking away and choosing someone else. So I feel like this person cheated on somebody. That's what happened in the past. And I really feel like with this one in reverse. So I think that what happened here, let's see what else we have. Okay, so this is... Karugtong, they say, the continuation. So the continuation is this person realized um, the person that he cheated on, lied to, is the one. The person that he has chosen, honestly, is not a good person. Things didn't work out between them, okay? The one that he chose. And I think that with regards to this one, that's the reason why misfortune happened. Because it's his karma for, you know, walking away from somebody who will give him this good, genuine offer. So, no wonder why we have that song. <laughs> I think it's his message for the one that he ended up with but wasn't able to... I feel like it's really a toxic connection. I really feel heaviness in my eyes. It made this person cry. That's what I said. So anyway, this is the stones that we got here. So this person received the karma already for choosing the wrong person, walking away from the right person. So this is the tower. That is it. So this person, look at that, has a passion energy. Okay, friend zone. So he really friend zone somebody, made somebody cry in the past. And with the ring, it shows somebody else due to his passion, so heartbroken. So, I think that the one that he chosen actually broke his heart, okay? Taken him for granted, too. That's what I'm sensing. Whatever he treated this right person, okay, 
This person is mistreated, left out in the cold, okay? That is also what he experienced towards a new partnership that he thought will give him the love, okay? So I feel like, really, this person needs to cry. My eyes really hurts. So with this one, I feel like with a busyness and so he's trying to be busy at work so he may ignore this heartache, this overwhelm, overwhelming of emotions here. So with regards to this one, so I really feel like he do have a bossy feels in him that I think that sometimes because he's kind of bossy, um, it made him a narcissistic person sometimes, like, doesn't care about people's emotions. And that's the reason why he, he hurt somebody in the past. Okay, so I think that that is what the members of the group could be showing to him. Like, there's something wrong with his attitude that he needs to get rid of. Okay, and yeah. He's still learning because honestly, whomever this person was, he hasn't um, he hasn't been awakened yet. Meaning, he's still immature. Okay, he needs to work on releasing himself, realizing his mistakes, releasing his bad attitude. Okay, to avoid you know bad karma from happening again. No wonder why he's a bit scared of, I feel like a bit scared of love life. That's what I see here because the last person that he dated really broke his heart. So anyway, let's see what else we have here. So we got this one. So I'm sensing here that he could have taken someone for granted. Okay, this is more likely about the love story. Like, he could be thinking like the other person will treat him well, better. He misjudged. He overlooked the, the good person. Okay, so I think that what happened to that past person, he could have blocked this person. Because this person got upset because she didn't, she wasn't treated well. And there's an exchange of words between them. And I feel like with this one, the one that he chose and really manifested him. But this is a wrong partner because honestly, there's a lot of fighting, arguing. So I think that he met a person that actually mirrors whom he is. Somebody who is also a bossy, dominant, okay? And I feel like he can't handle it because this woman is really... um I feel like very dominant. So right now he's single, honestly, and I'm sensing like what's going on with him is being reminded of what happened in the past. I feel like he needs to take accountability of his actions with regards to the past person who's giving him this for a fun. So I'm wondering why <clears throat> my soul chakra hurt. So, I'm sensing here that the Divine is actually making him work on his authenticity, okay? Because she, he's showing to the world oops, that he is happy, but he's not really happy. So, that's what's going on. And I really feel like with regards to the members, so the members is making him remember what he needs to let go with regards to his bad attitude. Again, okay, traumatic experience. He's being reminded of the things that he have done in the past so that he will be a mature person. So I really feel here that the one that he left is also watching over him. But I think that this girl is being more defensive over him because I feel like she's really scared that this person may still play mind games on her okay so this person is in a good place at peace right now and i feel like this person really i feel like scopes is really actually feeling regretful on leaving whomever this person was okay because he also encountered somebody who mirrored what he have done since he's being reminded of these things i think that He's being reminded of the girl. I think that he's worried and he wonders what's going on with that girl. Okay, and I feel like he's still, I think that he loves the girl though. Okay, he feels sad about it. So let's see what else we have. So we got the yin and my gosh, this is sad. 
So what happened here? Okay, the girl gave him the love. That's what happened. But yet he didn't push this forward. He overlooked things. He thought that this may not be the one. So he walked away. But the girl stayed. Okay, waited for him to come back. But it's already over because he chose someone else that he thought that will give him, you know, the love and whatever he expect but yet what happened here no place like home rivers so that person whomever he chosen is someone is actually not a good person to be with okay it's a disruptive energy so what's going on with him is being reminded of the past so that he will become a mature person so anyway this is what I channeled with regards to him. So we got over you by the try. You took a hammer to these walls, drag the memories down the hole, pack your bags and walked. Now that it's all said and done, I can believe you were the one to build me up and tear me down like an old abandoned house. And what you said when you left just left me cold and out of breath. A lot of others opened up, so did my eyes, so I could see. So it just means that I think that it's the members of him that accidentally trigger him of whatever had happened in the past. And based on this channeled song, I also kind of feel the sadness that he feel. And I think that he also have this victim mentality attitude that he needs to let go of because even in this song he kind of like blaming the girl even though it's not a girl's fault because based on the reading you know i see here that he's the one who left the girl and took the girl for granted okay so is there anything else okay so i also sense that he's kind of like rebellious with a family he did a lot of bad things okay that's the reason why a lot of bad things have happened to him okay so the divine is showing this all to him so he may change he may be awakened and be prepared for the next step of his life because honestly the new life is in reverse like he needs to be a brand new person a better authentic person and not somebody who play mind games as someone who's so dominant narcissistic and play the victim game blame game he needs to actually take accountability of his mistakes okay so is there anything else because he's mossy that's the reason why the divine is kind of pinning him down to humble himself okay so there is a lot of misunderstandings in the past as well with regards to family dynamic the angels told me he really needs to mature because until now he hasn't okay that's what they say and okay so i really feel heaviness here with the sadness thing so currently right now this person is sad and scared of love again because of what happened to him and the person that he has chosen so is there anything else that's it they say so anyway let's see about the other members so now let's see what's going on with jonghan Ooh. Oh my gosh, why did I want to shuffle? Interesting. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's going on with Jonghan. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. One more day, tell me. So let's see what else we have. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know. Oh, what's going on with Jung Han? I 
don't know why, but I sense the word despair. And a bit scared and jealous, I wonder why. It sounds like my hair is standing up. It just means that this guy has some guides around him, could be ancestors. But to we'll figure it out, angels and guides. Please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what's going on with Johan. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And what's the outcome? Another, they tell me. So again, another four. Interesting. Four cards here and four outcomes. Hmm. I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I really feeling like a backstabber kind of vibe. There's something that happened here. Like, this person is somebody who don't demand a lot, okay? This is worried about status, money. He needs to calm down. Honestly, he has been thinking a lot. Where will I put? Okay. Then suddenly, the cards are flying out. This person, I feel like he has an anger um, and depression to energy. One more, they tell me. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what we got here, okay, somebody lied to this person and it hurts him a lot. Like, he don't know what to do, he don't know whom to trust, like, very nervousness energy here. So no wonder why the guides are around him, because during this time, he's sad, okay? He's depressed about the lie. So that's what's going on here. So anyway, like, he didn't expect it to happen, that's also what I get here, like the misfortune. So, I'm sensing here, okay, with regards to Jong Han, he is someone who's not a liar. He's a straightforward person. Okay, he, he goes after what he wants, what he desires, he's straight to the point. So, he don't hide secrets. He's very, I feel like, undecisive right now on whom to trust because he's somebody who's trustworthy. So, he expects a friend or people that are honestly like him he's looking for people like that and with the temperance i feel like that's why he's sad right now because and scared as well because he don't know whom to trust so that that's really what's happening here like he wants to see whom is really authentic okay so with regards to this one so I'm sensing like with regards to the group, he, that's why he's sad. He thinks that even the group members is some something that he couldn't trust. And he's really depressed inside, okay? And I really feel like with the five of ones, could be... This person could be kind of detached actually from the group. Okay, kind of like an introvert, not really showing what he feels. Okay, and it's just, I feel like he just wanders, okay, in the group. So the next thing that we got is this one. So this is somebody that 
I'm still discovering what he can do to the world. He's optimistic. Okay, really feel like with Jonghan's energy, it's kind of like a light worker energy, but really depressed, happy anxiety issues and worry. So I think that what he he's a bit scared though of losing money, losing fame. So with the Ace of Cups, so this is really a loving energy. So. I feel like he's really close to God, to be honest, okay? And he's not somebody who will left someone in the cold. Um, he's a kind person. He is good with words, communication skill. And with this in reverse, so I feel like he has nothing to be scared about because honestly, it's all in his head that this will be gone, okay? Because we have this in reverse, okay? There won't be any endings there, okay? So, what he needs to be aware about is actually he's kind of aware that he's on search for the soul tribe. And I think that this person has been awakened. Why? Because if you're awakened, you kind of feel this way too. Like, you start to be aware um, if ever, you know, people around you can be trusted or not. And it really made this person cry or sad because honestly he's been a good person okay and he really look forward who can match him he survived so with the fool i feel like this person now is cautious you know he's not gonna be somebody will trust right away he wants to make sure that that person is also like him so he's not somebody who's easily fooled that this is somebody who already learned the lesson okay I feel like with this seven of ones in reverse, so I'm sensing like he's somebody who's submissive. He's not a stubborn person. Like he's a caring vibe, nurturing um, kind of um, vibe on him. So I feel like that's the reason why the fans love him. Could be because of his good energy or vibe that he gave off. That he's somebody who's caring, nurturing. And I feel like this person is also not a liar, not not someone who will lie. And if he love, he love honest, with all honesty. And I'm sensing like this person's really innocent and positive. And this is not somebody who's, I feel like, gonna be focusing on the drama. That's why I feel like whenever there's an argument in the group, he kind of detach himself, okay? That's the feel like um, I'm sensing with this person, which is really nice, a good energy. So outcome that we got is actually this one. So he hasn't found his empress yet. He hasn't found this much. That's what you need to know. And then the next outcome is this one. So this person is someone I really feel like not minding really something that will pin him down. This is really a good energy to have, okay? So he's just focused on work, on money making, just like this, okay? So I've been, um, I feel like a bit scared and worried about love life. That's also what I kind of feels like. I don't know why since J Hope here. <laughs> Okay, could be they have the same vibe, but this person is more the mature version of J-Hope. But anyway, this is, I don't mean to compare, just sense, you know, his vibe here. Could be he's watching, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so with regards to this one, I have a feeling that this person really has been through a lot. Okay, and I feel like he just got enough about the liar thing, about people that's making him feel sad okay so i feel like he also encounter actually connection that didn't work out karmic connection that really made him sad and he he transformed into a better person which is really nice at least he's learning from his mistakes so the next thing that we got is this one so honestly with this card it just means new beginning so compared to escopes like escopes got this in reverse like he hasn't um learned yet from the mistakes with regards to escopes but with regards to this person jong han he learned something from every um people that he met or every encounters experiences and i feel like he he is somebody who accepts defeat 
or somebody who can say sorry and apologize of his mistakes and take accountability. Very humble person, not prideful, is what I sense. Like he's also easy going. I feel like the members like him. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so let's see with the stones what we have here. So for the stones, what we got is this one. So I really feel like this person is sad and lonely. And with regards to this spider, I'm sensing like he's kind of stuck okay, right now. Like I feel like there's a lot in his head he could be thinking a lot about the lie here okay he can't get over yet he's trying to heal from that okay but with regards to let's say this job i think he will stay okay he will not let go of it so with regards to passion which is weird but i really feel like it's more likely him being passionate with regards to work because i don't see that the passion thing is about girls no it's about him passionate about his work so with regards to four my gosh we got a four four so i think that this is somebody who really cares a lot somebody i feel like homebody that's also what i sense here like i feel like he has a lot of good luck good fortune in his life because he has a good person and he grown up as a mature person taking accountability of if ever he did something wrong so he's really a bit cautious right now and put his boundaries up realizing that people around him is someone whom he can trust okay he's really kind of judgmental these days because of what happened i don't know what happened there but there could be a conflict that's why he's overwhelmed by realizing that he can't really trust people around him. Okay, so right now I feel like he's going towards peacefulness. He's not somebody who is gonna be toxic, gonna fight. Okay, if ever there's conflict, he will step away. Okay, so with regards to the key, this is about opportunity. Wow, and abundance, money. So he's just busy at work. So with regards to evil eye, remember that I sense kind of jealousy feels in the beginning. I don't really see that this person is jealous. Honestly speaking, I feel like this is more likely some people could be jealous of him because he have a good attitude. Um, that's also what I sense here. So there's a lot of jealous people that really, you know, kind of... I feel like they're jealous of what he is, okay? He's like an idol, to be honest, that, you know, you need to follow kind of thing. So anyway, let's see what else we have here. So basically, I feel like this person is somebody who's not going in with the flow of the society. Like he loves to discover things. That's... That's what he is, okay? So I feel like this person ran away and hide from people that are negative or not vibing with him because he's somebody who's a good person based on the reading, okay? So with regards to the keys, because we also got a key here, so he's opening a lot of doors towards success, towards I feel like opportunities because I think that this is the rewards that he reap due to the fact that he's a kind person, okay? Anyway, so we got this one. So I really feel like he's kind of thinking a lot about the people around him, wondering whom he can be trusted um, because he accelerated, he, he got awakened, and now he's realizing now whom his soul tribe was versus the not and it's kind of observant with people around him so kind of he feels sad and sad because he realized that he's unique he's very different um no one matches vibration so with regards to girls too he hasn't found the one yet okay and i feel like with this one I think that what happened here, there's a lie that happened here, okay? And I feel like until now, he hasn't recovered. It could be he trusted somebody, okay, very close to him. Um, but yet, that person could have told a lie or could have betrayed him, backstabbed him, and hurt him. Heart in his heart. That's what I see. 
So anyway, let's see with the same what we got here. So we got this one serendipity. So it's really sad right now because of this deep knowing. So I feel like before he tried to ignore his senses with regards to people around him because I feel like he is loving in nature. Like even though people that doesn't vibe in him, he still care for those things. The disadvantage if you're somebody who's authentic is that you assume like people are like you. Okay, so I think this person is learning that, you know, not all people is authentic like him. So that's why he's kind of observant these days, you know, trying to see who misses his soul tribe. And I feel like he's also receiving a lot of messages from heaven because honestly, it's the rewards, okay? Um, I feel like the heaven is rewarding him because he's somebody who changed into a better person. So with regards to pass and co-create, so I feel like he's now seeing whom he can be with, okay? With regards to, let's say, not only lovers, but of course, with regards to companionship, right? So I feel like he's somebody that's really submissive, like good to be around, like he's supportive, he's kind and innocent, I feel. So with the chaos and conflict and observer, so I think that what happened with the experience with regards to this person that's not really authentic, it really changed him into somebody that's really cautious, okay? And I feel like despite of the negativity, it also changed him not to be somebody who is very, you know, um, observant or looking to, towards the negativity of things that's around him. Okay, he's somebody who rather um, go away from negativity rather than get involved into fight or argument. Okay, so it's just a peaceful person. Really like this vibe, honestly. So is there anything else? That's it, they say. So let's see about what else. So now we're gonna talk alone about Hoshi, what's going on with him. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Hoshi. This show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another detail. One more, they say. This person is indecisive, I feel. But the introvert doesn't show what he's thinking about to the world. Alright, so let's see what else we have. This person pretends to be innocent, that's also what I get. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Hoshi. I feel like whomever this person is, he's scared of the reality. Um, this person prefers to live in La La Land. Really, my head hurts a lot with this person. I feel like he preferred to be in a karmic or in a toxic situation rather than, you know, choosing somebody that's good for him. Or being in a calmer water, like this person loves the drama, loves the conflict, loves the war kind of person. I wonder why, <laughs> but that's what I sense with his energy, with his vibe. So let's see what else. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Hoshi so this person loves to play pretend loves to play mind games 
I feel like this person has a lot of I feel like secret crush <gasps> okay it's scared of losing a person that's also what I get with this one so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what's the outcome okay another this person um, really is obsessive I feel like this person has a partner already okay anyway we gonna clarify to gain more information angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here this help us clarify so we may be able to understand i feel like whomever this person is he is someone that's kind of avoidant of the truth because for him truth hurts okay like he rather be in I feel like in a toxic situation than losing somebody. That's what I feel with this vibe here. So I don't know why since we're known with this energy. Um could be both of them have the same vibe, but we will see. Okay, we haven't talked alone to him yet. So I don't have any idea yet. Okay, so anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what we have here, yes, this person still stay with somebody that's eating his money. Okay, I feel like a wife already. Um, that's what I feel like he see that person as a wife. And I think that he's going towards, you know, his goals and his dreams. But sad for him is that since he chose to be in a stagnant energy or stayed with a person that's really eating his money all his hard work is gone you get what i mean so i feel like with regards to this person i feel like he, there's really a wife here i feel like i would call that a wife okay and that's what i feel here and anyway no wonder why i <laughs> we got marriage um marriage stone in the beginning right so anyway with this one so with regards to him he's good at money making the only problem is a karmic here the girl i feel like whomever the girl was this person is the one who's creating burdens about their life and this person don't really care about the future don't care about hoshi at all okay very i feel like a strict wife okay that doesn't care about her partner partner's wealth and with this death and eight of one so i feel like whomever this masculine is he refused to speak to the wife what's the problem okay um this person just you know keep to himself um what's wrong with the connection rather than be in a war with the wife that's what i see here so the next thing that we got is this so this is a new beginning reverse so this person really refused to put an ending towards the cycle with regards to his partner because he loves his partner so much he already invested a lot with his partner and this person is somebody who's loyal to the partner that he refused to have a new beginning with somebody so the next is this one so i really feel here that this person always offers things to his wife okay really feel it's wife already so i will just call wife okay to his wife and he hasn't walked away from this partner even though their connection is out of balance i feel like with the temperance i feel like he's just calm at least i have a wife that's his perspective but to be honest that person is really eating all the money okay and this person really refused to speak about what's wrong with the connection um just to avoid the conflict the war okay but he's not really happy this i feel like the angels are actually trying to wake him up that he really needs to come to his senses that this person that is dealing with doesn't make him happy and of course the consequences of you know having they say a leech okay a leech in his life because that is making him i feel like this 
Sochi is really submissive to this person. I feel like he really needs to realize that this person is deceitful, deceiving, and that's someone that he can trust because this person don't care. Very narcissistic vibe here. That's what I see. So anyway, this is the outcome. So for the outcome, Angel of Wisdom reversal. So as I told you, he refused to change. He refused to to wake up that's what's going on because his wife i feel like a pretty woman vibe here and i think that that person look at that page of pentacles i think that this person overindulged i gave you the money of hoshi and she don't say she don't care that's what i feel here so i'm sensing like with this angel of motivation reverse so i'm really sensing like there will become a point wherein Hoshi will, will lose, um, I feel like a lot of money um, will come to his senses because he will lose motivation with regards to his wife, his partner, and it will make him decide to walk away and choose someone else. So what a good outcome, but at least we, we see here that there's a potential that he will have enough, like enough is enough, all right? Because it's not accelerating with this person. Anyway, so let's see about the stones, what we have here. So, he's really scared of losing this person though. But this person's not really good, see, karmic. So he's dealing with a karmic person, see, marriage. Oh my gosh, really. This is a wife already, okay? Or she's already married. Okay, wonder if they know. I haven't done my research. So anyway, with this one, so I really feel like whomever this is, he is the chaser here. Like, he's really afraid of losing his wife. Like, even though the wife is toxic, you know, he's still living in La La Land, okay? Honestly. So anyway, with this one, so they will have money issues in the end because this person didn't care. Because this person is toxic, obviously this is a karmic, okay, that could keep him stuck. And I feel like, um, I feel like there will come a point wherein he will be mad about this person because he, he will wake up, he will come to his senses that he's really lonely with regards to his person. Um, that's what I feel here, so broken heart, so I really feel like this person is really afraid to be broken hearted, like he wants his wife to stay because he has certain effort with regards to this person. He invested a lot really, but the wife here, look at that, is a gold digger. And this person is dominant. So, whoever this person is, he is submissive to that one. And anyway, I feel here, like, he's sad, really. Because I feel like he only has less. And he could be giving a lot to that person. So, I feel like one day, he will realize that his co-members, okay, his members that he has, already have business, already have this and that, and he didn't accelerate. That is the point wherein he will recognize how important it is, okay, to plan for the future and to invest on the right things because he worked hard for his money, and yet... This is the wife trying to cut down the tree here, trying to destroy. I feel like this is somebody who's combative. I feel like this person is plotting to destroy Hoshi's image if ever Hoshi decided to choose someone else. So I feel like this person, you know, the wife, um, this person is, you know, not that rich in the past from Puerto Riches. That's why he... I'm sorry, she likes Hoshi because, you know, Hoshi can give, can give her something. So I feel like this person, Hoshi, really needs to learn how to set healthy boundaries. And the wife is really demanding, okay? So I feel like this person, though, even though the wife is like this, is really scared of the heartbreak of losing this person. Okay, but the connection, look at that. There's a lot of tears. And I really feel like it's gonna be a never-ending cycle if Hoshi decided not to break up. But we got two outcomes here. Um, either he can walk away, 
okay, or either he can actually stay, but I really feel pity for this person. I just hope he woke up and realized that he's better off without this person because honestly, I feel like he will end up like this, like having nothing, no savings, no money, etc. So let's see what we have here. So we got to this one. So he do have a partner already okay and i feel like the heaven is really waking up coming to the senses that they should choose a partner wherein who knows how to make a business okay or let's say make the money bloom rather than wasting it on the things that you know is not necessarily important so i think that the divine is really giving him some signs trying to wake him up to let go of this wife that is really toxic but he refused to think about it he's in the limbo here as you can see but he keeps on thinking about it though so with regards to this one so i really feel like he feel like there will come a time wherein he will had enough enough is enough like he has a long patience with regards to his wife to be honest but yet i really feel here that he really wants to to still be with his partner even though it hurts so i'm sensing here that in this regeneration so i'm sensing like since this is a karmic connection whether he likes it or not it will end the angels say because of course you know even though no matter how long your patience is there will come a time wherein you will have enough enough is enough he will realize how important it is to invest on the right things but he's not yet waking up as you can see here he's avoiding it he's avoiding to observe the chaos and the conflict okay so he he got tired and felt depressed as well with this person because this person is controlling okay always watchful over him and making sure that he's loyal and look at that how she controls hoshi and this person honestly look at that I feel like there will come a time wherein he will realize that his wife doesn't make him happy and he will be able to break away once that he's ready because currently he can't accept defeat yet, okay? That's what I see here. So is there anything else? That's it, they tell me. So let's proceed on with the 8, they tell me. Let's see about the 8. What's going on with him? Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with the eight. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Somebody is angry at, we, at the eight. Because when I shuffle my left hand hurts, it just means that it's not him who's mad or has negative energy, but somebody, okay? And this person is stressed with regards to it. And let's see what else we have here. So I really sense a gentle vibe with his energy, but okay, I also sense like my hair stands up. It just means that there are some guides ancestors around him could be during this period he's really sad and scared of something okay because that's the vibe that i feel with this energy so we'll check what else we have here angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know What's going on with the eight? Another. So I have a feeling here that there is a bully in his life that he can't shake off 
and this person is a manipulator this person is somebody who is threatening him very obsessive towards him but I don't see that he is also in that same energy vibe as this person just sends the whole cards there another toxic boss energy is what I feel here that ver I feel like also Vernon Vernon has issues with the same person another heavy toxic energy karmic I'm not saying that it's their could be their boss but let's figure it out okay what is this person scared of angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what's going on with the eight so anyway this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading my head really hurts so this person could be thinking a lot so this let's see so gonna clarify angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you I feel like a lot of misunderstanding with regards to whomever this is that they're dealing with I feel like Vernon is dealing with the same person too like this person is a very ignorant prideful person like they can't they can't escape from the really my head hurts so badly so this person could be losing sleep okay so i really feel like there are, are a lot of misunderstandings and i think that the divine is showing to him that he just need to focus on work and not to focus too much on whoever is making this person worry okay so there is they are scared of this person this is a bossy vibe of person okay so this person is really someone suddenly really i feel like sudden my hair stands up so what's going on here is actually they are really scared that's kind of vibe that i feel oh and they have to give money to this person or else with the justice in reverse here something bad will happen so no wonder why it kind of sense like a worried vibe in the beginning even in in the overall with the 17 so with regards to that we cut this one so i feel like with regards to the threat the eight still tries to to stand up okay to to be but they still stuck with that person so judgment in reverse so i think that the heaven is showing to him that he's just scared okay scared of this person tried to please that whomever that is okay whomever this person stayed eating the money okay feel like whomever that person was he's not a good person this person is so stuck thinking negatively with a judgment in reverse thinking like forever he will be controlled by whomever this manipulator is okay so the next thing that we have is this one so i have a feeling here like despite of this kind of surrounding um i think that he's still happy with the group okay and he just need to remove his fears i feel like by the group he's happy okay not really thinking about whomever the dominant one is okay so the next is this one so don't tell me it's about a girl <laughs> okay with the five of pentacles because i have a feeling here okay this person has been giving and giving to this person but actually kind of like hoshi by vibe but in a different way like i feel like um to be honest the eight already let go of this connection but yet that person threatens a lot 
There could be a court case that has been happening and he has to give something. Okay, to this person. So I wonder why Essence Vernon too could be they have the same what do you call this? The same circumstance wherein they have to take accountability over somebody that they left. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. So anyway, yeah, they managed to let go of whomever this person was. And I think that with the Knight of Wands, this person that he dealt with is also coming back to him. But with the Queen of Wands in Rivers, so whomever that person was that he was involved in, actually she commanded somebody to i feel like to harass him so that you know he can provide continuously for her there could be a baby involvement but let's see what else we have here so we got this one so i really feel like he's enjoying his work to be honest he just have a toxic threat around him and with the hangman, he's still stuck with that person. But I'm gonna clarify what it is. I think that there is a baby involvement here. Or it could be... I really more feel like... Could be family can be. Like somebody's threatening him. He should give something. Okay, we will clarify that. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know who is this person that's threatening him and why is it he has to give money. Oh my gosh. This is a girl partnership. There is a court case. Divorce, I feel. Of course, he has to give money. Oh my gosh, there's a baby. No wonder why he has to take accountability. Anyway, at least he managed to escape. He's not like Hoshu oh, stuck, but still he has to give, provide, because there is a baby here, okay? And that's the cause of him not actually financially stable. And in order for him not to get involved in trouble because um, he's being threatened, that's what I see in the reading here. Um, actually, I feel like a scared kind of vibe. That's why he has to give and give so that the girl may not say anything, okay? So, whenever this girl was that he got involved himself to, this is actually not an independent woman. This is somebody who relies on his money for the kid. Okay, so with the high priestess here, so I really feel like, okay, he encountered this person when he was still a page, meaning he's still immature. During the period that he encountered this, he hasn't spiritually awakened yet during this time. So he thought that this is the one. He, he looked highly on this person um, before. And that's why he agreed towards the four of ones. Like they got engaged. They got a kid, a okay, kid together. But yet I feel here. So he showed his love here. But this person, the girl, ate his money. Just like Hoshi's story. But the difference is at least the eight managed to escape this. I feel like he's the one who has genuine love for this girl. But... The girl is just after his money. Okay. So anyway, so it's about a girl that he used to have or care for. So anyway, let's see about the stones, what we have here. I'm kind of worried about Vernon. I wonder why. So let's see. Oh yeah, he's sad. Look at that, he's heartbroken about what happened. I think that he realized that the girl is deceitful. And friend zone, I'm sensing like... With the friend zone vibe, it could be about him leaving this person, okay? Because of the toxic vibe that 
this girl has so he's really lucky with money very fortunate and he has been used because of money and he's still sad about it suffering in silence the angels say so i really feel like he's really scared look at that He's really scared of the illusion that the girl has put on to him. I think that he was being threatened by this girl. Okay, and I think that the girl asked somebody to threaten him. Okay, like he needs to give or else he will do this to you. Um, kind of thing. So he's very scared about it. So he's really spiritual now. Okay, he become mature about the situation. Because he has been through a lot with the mountains here. So... Let's see what else we have. So we got this one. So I'm really sensing here like he's overthinking things about whomever that girl was. So I feel like with regards to work, I think that he finds the work very hard. Um, I feel like he's goal oriented. That's also what I get here. Very focused on money. And that's what the heaven wants him to do. Be focused on money making. Okay. And then with regards to the girl. I think that there's really a downfall between them. Things didn't work out. Okay. And I feel like this is a part of his journey. So that he may learn. Um, with regards to his experiences. Okay. So I feel like this person got aware that. Whoever the girl was. This is somebody that he should serve. This is somebody who's bossy, manipulative, okay? And I really feel like there's really a baby here. And that's the reason why he's stuck with this person. And I'm sensing like the, in the beginning, you know, he do have feelings for this girl. That's why they form a family together. There's a baby. But yet, I really feel like the girl is so immature. And I feel like because of the girl, he's not standing in his power. Because honestly, he has to give and give to whomever. I feel like the wife could be. They already got married in the past. That's why I kind of feel like it's a wife, okay? I feel like now there's a court about this one, okay? Because of this, I feel like misfortune happened because of the wife. And I think, um, like, date is kind of upset about it. That's also what I get here. Because he realized that he hasn't achieved anything. He don't have a business. And so, he got aware. Because before, he lives in La La Land like Hoshi, okay? But now, he realizes, he's seen this, okay? Like, the girl is fake. Like, it's a fake love. The girl's just using him for money. Okay, so he managed to escape that. But the problem here is that he's still being manipulated by the girl. So there's, so I feel like big regret on his end that he got fooled by this girl. Okay, and I feel like now he realized that he walked away already. But there's a threat here. So the girl is threatening him so that... You know, she can still taste the money of this person. And I feel like he's, I'm sorry, she's using the baby in order to to get something from the aid. Okay, she, she's very manipulative. And this person is watchful over, over the aid. Okay, so the aid standing in his power. And I feel like there are friends that's, I feel like the... The group is really actually helping the eight. I think that they're aware what happened to the eight. Okay. So I really feel here that actually, I feel like the company is really defensive towards this, whomever the wife is or the woman is, because they're aware that even the eight is scared. Okay. Um, I really feel here that. I think that the girl is losing influence, honestly. Okay, like, I think that his colleague is aware about this, okay, about his troubles. So let's see about the theme, what we got here. So, we don't imagine an observer, so I really feel like this person still 
living in illusion of whomever the girl was. This is somebody who threatens. And I think that he is not even looking at this girl anymore because he he's not really into him before he is, okay? I feel like with the co creates so I think that he is on the courts here and I feel like he's really asking help from other members. That's also what I feel like. Because this girl I feel like keep on you know victim mentality I feel like making the drama that's what's going on with this person, with a girl. And what I see here with the chaos and conflict, so he's still in this chaos and traumatic experience with a girl, okay? He's not really happy about it. He haven't moved on yet, obviously, about the connection that didn't work out. So i really feeling here that some of the members are really helping him out because he's really sad. And I feel like with regards to money, I think that he's just thinking, how can I grow my money? Because the girl is still, you know, um, you know, wanting me to contribute a lot, okay? But this, um, this, but this guy, the eight, I really feel nervousness here. So with the eight, I think that he's not really into that girl anymore. He already, you know, remove himself from that person, but he can't run away just that like that because they have a baby okay so this person is a bit scared about reputation because that is the reason why the girl can you know threaten him you know i feel like i feel like the girl is envious over him like because he can build money and he, she can't so i really feel like scared vibe here forgive my voice or whatever but this is what i'm sensing with the aid okay so the girl don't have work okay and i feel like the eight managed to escape this girl because she's very controlling manipulative demanding and this person always is watchful over the eight okay so anyways or anything else just the angels say he has anxiety issues right now because of the reputation thing. She, he's being threatened, but he will get over it, okay? The members will help him cope with this, okay? And the company is protecting him from this girl, okay? So is there anything else? Okay, other members, they say. Alright, so we'll see about Vernon, what's going on with him. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Vernon. They show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another day, tell me. One more. All right, so let's see what else we have. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Vernon. feeling here that someone is selfish but we'll see what it is angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what's going on with Vernon So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? I'm gonna clarify the cards. 
angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know i don't know why but i'm sensing how she vibe so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you I really feel like my right hand hurts. It just means that Vernon has negative emotions with regards to who is the selfish one here. Okay, in the reading. But we will clarify, we will see. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So whomever, he's, I feel like scared energy too, like the eight. So this person is actually scared of this liar, okay? And he hasn't really removed himself from this person. And I really feel like he's really angry towards, I feel like a woman vibe here towards a woman because I think that on his end, he's not a deceitful person towards this, this karmic, I feel like karmic partner, okay? So anyway, I feel like the true colors has been revealed to him, okay, about this person. And that's the reason why with the Eight of Wands, I feel like there's an exchange of words here. He's really upset. I feel like the woman is good at playing mind games over him, um, making him believe that he will experience true love with her, etc. But that has ended already, okay? This person's so angry, okay? That's what I feel with this vibe because for a long time, I feel like this person is really shown this illusion, okay? But now I feel like he, he don't have feelings anymore with that person. Like, he, I feel like he lost control over his money. Now he's regretting giving all in to the wife or to this woman, okay? So, anyway, I really see here, like, he's really sad. Look at that. The six of wands. So he's thinking of how much money, like this person has took from him, and he's not successful. That is how he see himself. Doesn't have the money. Has misfortune with this person. He just let himself be controlled by the wrong lover here. So I really feel heaviness in my eyes. So until now, this person has been crying about it. Okay. But with a new beginning, so I feel like despite of what happened to him, he's not somebody who will end his life. He He's very strong. We got the strength card even here, okay? He's a warrior, the angels say to me. So in a way, despite of all, he's moving towards a new journey with his, you know, new beginning card here. So I have a feeling here that he's really regretful over what happened to him and this person so he's letting go because this is somebody that give him a lot of burdens and with the justice and knight of wands so i'm really sensing here that he learned the lesson the hard way i think that he has chosen that person because during this period that he chose a wrong person is when he's in this knight of wands energy wherein he's only about the passion now he's realizing what he deserves with this one okay and he's not gonna settle for less anymore and anyway he's divinely guided honestly to move towards calmer waters and to leave what he has been in the past so i feel like past energy is really just a page of funds like he's into passion only and he's a go-getter towards um with regards to love life i feel like um he's realizing now um the truth beyond the illusion and i feel like it's really weighing on my eyes like i feel like crying really so i really feel here that the divine is saying to him that there's also he needs to let go 
The angels say, and he needs to learn his lessons, but I think that he managed to learn it, okay? Learn it the hard way, so he goes separate ways from whomever this is. But with regards to the energy here, I think that there is something that's happening between him and this wrong lover here. I feel like it's um kind of about ag aggressiveness. Oh my gosh, my head really hurts here. So, with that energy, I feel like he's, he's still angry. He's still healing from that person. And anyway, that person could be really pretty because I see it here. Very arrogant feels is what I feel with a girl. So, the outcome for this one, so I think that with the Queen of Swords, like, that truth really comes forth. And he's not really asking for that truth to come out with regards to his partner, but it, it comes forth. Okay, like, the illusions have been erased. Okay, so I really feel like... He got betrayed, that's also what I get here. So I'm really sensing more likely with a butterfly here, like he's learning from his mistakes. And he's realizing now how important authenticity was. Like he should be with people that are, you know, um, truthful and honest, okay? Anyway, so let's see what else we have here. The angel say before he has Hoshi's wife, like doesn't really care about um, that the connection is like this. But I feel like with regards to um, Vernon, he managed to let go, okay, and let God, the angel say. So I really feel like he's very popular. That's also what I get here. I feel like popular among the members, but I'm not sure. Okay, with regards to, let's say, the popularity thing in the members. So, with regards to 22, so I feel like now he's just manifesting his abundance and trying to get back together. That's what I see here. So, with regards to evil, I am sensing here that this is about negative energy. Because in the beginning, I feel here, like my, I feel like Vernon is upset, okay? That's the vibe that I feel here. So, honestly, the negative vibe that I feel is from him being angry to the girl, okay? So, right now, he's really closed off with regards to the heart because he's still married. So, it just means that he was married with that person. And I think that what's going on is that could be the divorce is about to happen because I think that the current um, situation here is he just um, know the truth. Okay, so there is a court case that's happening here. So he has been sweet towards this girl. He has been the giver and I feel like with this mountain, so the mountain is, you know, created by the girl here. So we got red flags. So I think that the truth came out because of the red flag that he discovered about this wife that he has. So he's very spiritual as well and loyal to his partner. But despite of his loyalty, I really feel like he had enough. He's so tired about the red flags, about the deceitfulness of his person. So anyway, let's see what else. So I think that right now there is exchange of words that's going on with the connection. And I feel like there could be a court case here. That's what I see. So right now he's, I feel like still married because that the divorce is ongoing. Okay, but he's in a process of becoming single. That's what's happening here. So... I feel like this person, Vernon, has been brainwashed by this karmic partner, okay? That's what I sense. So, basically, he's moving on from the toxic connection that this person has done. So, this, I feel like really liar vibe with a girl. I, and I really feel like he's so angry with a girl, honestly. Like, he was stuck for a long time. And now he realized that the girl is just the cause of him 
being stuck or not stagnant energy so yes he was married with this person i feel like some of his friends okay know that this person is bad for him so i think that the friends is actually giving him some signs or saying things about the girl that the girl is the cause of his stagnant energy the girl is the cause of his misfortunes but i think that in the end of the day you know he finally woke up i just suppose she will do the same okay because until now he's still caught up with the wrong girl so anyway this is um the theme that we got here so we got mending so this is his current energy is really mending from the sadness of losing the person that he thought was the one and anyway we despite the book and all that glitter so i think that this i really feel like he's really popular and rich but yet i feel like the reason why the wife likes him or want him because of the money not really because she loves you know vernon and i do see here like in the past he's just going on with the flow he's just following the elders this girl okay and anyway the next thing that we got is this one so i feel like he has been stuck for a long time being brainwashed by this lover of his so the i feel like right now it's not a not yet the time for him to find another partner because in, he's in a process of divorcing, okay, letting go. Because we still have this in reverse, meaning it's not yet completely um, recovered and let go of the connections because he's married, so there needs to be a divorce there. So I feel like right now he's more peaceful without that person okay he's still healing so far and yeah he managed to let go and he don't have feelings anymore with that woman he's tired already and i feel like with regards to him because i feel that there's really a court case here that's why this is in reverse that even though he moved on he don't like anymore so he still needs to um do something with the divorce thing okay need to pay a lot with regards to that so unfinished symphony so there is already a closure here like there's an exchange of words already with this person okay because i feel like the girl was caught that's what i see here was caught with a red flag and with this why i think that He's kind of wondering about the connection, honestly, with his um, girl. And I feel like really heaviness here, really sadness here. Like, I think that your connection is actually not just a month, but I feel like years already. It's been years that he has been brainwashed by this girl. And that's why he's so really upset with that woman that... I feel like he don't have feelings anymore with this girl. So is there anything else? That's it they say so. Okay, they want to handle Dino, so let's see. Right, so for the last part, they're going to ask about Dino. So let's see what's going on with him. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's going on with Dino. You showed to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Honestly, upon shuffling my left hand hurts. Somebody's could be upset with Dino. You want more data? I feel financial problem with a person that he loves and cares for. Another? Okay. They want to give more. Okay. Now, let's see what else we have here. Angels 
angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Dino. To be honest, my ring is about to get off. Don't know why. Probably, this person was in a relationship and he wants to get away from the connection. Alright, so one more day, tell me. So, he has been stressed out about the past lover. That's also what I get here. He don't know what to do. That's what I see and feel. So, we'll check what else. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's going on with Dino. Anyway, so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what is the outcome? I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I don't know why, but I sense Garrett. My head hurts a lot. Oh my gosh, this person has been thinking a lot. Another day, tell me. One more day requested. I really feel your unconditional love and unrequited love. Kind of vibe. Really strange energies. Honestly. Another. Okay. So, I also sense this could be the one. <laughs> I sense a lot with the romance angels cards, but I didn't include it here. Should we pull again on it, they say. Anyway, so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, this person stress out with somebody. Somebody that he used to date. That's also what I get here, that he took for granted. Kind of like Escope's kind of vibe. Um story okay somebody that he broke up because he he's thinking like this could not be the one okay you overlook things and i feel like he's always looking at the past he's always remembering the girl that he just took for granted so that's overall energy first card that we got is this one so i feel like this person is humiliated by the person that he chose. I really feel sadness here. So, whomever that he chose, use him for money. It's really sad, feeling regretful that he didn't choose the right person. And I feel like the heaven is actually making him remember this girl. Okay, that is really a good person to have around. So, the next is this one. So, I'm really feeling like right now, with regards to Dino, he has been thinking a lot about that girl. He's wishing for the girl to come back to him so that, you know, he can be able to apologize, make it up, and have a family. So this person is single, doesn't have, um, I feel like doesn't have actually someone. I don't feel like there's an energy of somebody here, even though he chose someone here. Because with the tower, it already happened. Oh my gosh. So this person hasn't moved on yet from the past person. That's what happened here. That 
didn't push forward. I feel like friend zone kind of vibe. I feel like one of the carrots can be because I sense carrot right away. So I feel like the one that he friend zone is a carrot. Okay, anyway, so with regards to this one, so I feel like with regards to what happened to him, it made him realize his past mistakes. I feel like kind of like Escobes vibe but different sense, like at least he's admitting his mistakes, okay? Like he is now ready to communicate with a girl. He's just waiting for a signal for that girl to give him a sign that, you know, he's... I'm sorry, she will welcome him back because I really feel like heaviness in my eyes here. Like he has been crying. He has been wishing this person to come back, okay? That's what's going on. And then the next is this. So I really feel like yeah, he has been taken for granted by some lovers in the past. And that's why he didn't acknowledge this woman, okay, who gave him what true love is. But... I feel like with a star, I think that they do have a potential to come across again. Because I feel like with the fate here, this is fated. That's what that happened here. Like, it's fated to happen to him so that he may realize what he really wants or... Because with this one, I really feel here that there's really chemistry here. I feel like with this carrot, I really feel a carrot energy vibe here. So right now he's single, but he's wounded about what happened in the past. He lost passion with regards to finding another person because he already know whom he wants. He wants the past lover that gave him, I feel like all the love and care. This person is charismatic, the one that he's in love with, okay? And let's see what else we have. So, I don't know why, but I'm really sensing like he's really looking back at the girl. He's weak right now, like meaning he's depressed right now. Thinking about the girl a lot. Okay, what he lost. And he's not really looking for a new lover right now. He will just reject if it's another offer. So what's going on here is that he's still healing because he's sad. Look at that. He hasn't moved on yet from the girl that um, he broke. That's what happened here. He's trying to move on and recover. So the next is this. This is the outcome. So this is Angel of Revelation. So I don't see that the girl will approach him. Because honestly, I think here that the girl is still angry about what happened between them. That's what happened here. Because the Empress in reverse. So could be there's a third party. Like this guy. Um... Dino chose a person that's not really a loving person. So I think that it may take some time for the girl to move on and recover. Because right now I think that if ever he will approach fast, um, he will just receive bad news or this girl will just argue with him. So anyway, let's see what else we have here with the stones. Another. So let's see what else we have here. So we got the five. So he's changing into a better person. Okay. And he's looking forward towards the past lover. He's loyal with that past lover now because he realized the importance when, um, I feel like when he countered the wrong person here. So he's really sad right now and depressed. Looking back at the past karmic. So I think he has chosen the wrong person. And with this one, so he's spiritual. He's healing. And with the 22, so he's manifesting the past person. I feel like he's really thinking like the past person will be the one. Will be his wife-to-be. He's really daydreaming about it because we see it here. He wants a family with that girl. And yeah, he's really sad. 
right now and depressed so that's why he's closer to god because god is giving him strength so it's really sad right now really and i really feel like it's also being shown um um the thing that happened in the past okay because the divine is asking him to be authentic asking him to be true about his feelings okay and listen to god even more i don't know why but i'm sensing vernon again um could be vernon will have a true partner like this one i don't know but let's see what else we have here so we got this one i have a feeling that right now he's really um sad right now because as he's healing his heart and I feel like he's sad, really, and I feel like he's trying to manifest um, the person that showed him what true love is, okay? So, right now, he's single, moving on towards calmer waters, and I have a feeling here like that there's really a girl here that's a karmic. Could be that's the person that he has chosen instead of the good one, and... I'm sensing here like this girl, the karmic, is really eyeing on him, okay, the one who put him in limbo on stress, and right now he's single, okay, and he's thinking a lot what happened in the past, he's also seeing his um, bad side, and he's really regretful about the bad things that he have done in the past, okay, so... I feel like though he has heaviness in his feelings, he's still trying to work, okay, um, trying to be there, but he's still sad and thinking about, I feel like he's also thinking about the person who, who could have used him for money, okay. So anyway, let's see what else we have here. So there's two girls, don't get confused. The other one is the good girl, and the other one is somebody who betrayed him or used him for money. Okay, karmic. So the next is Treasure Island here. So he realized now that the person that he has chosen is actually not somebody that will give him this. Okay, happiness and joy. So he now knows whom he wants to be with, with this blessed. So he's coming forth towards a past lover who showed to him what true love is. Okay. So I really feel like whomever that girl was, she was standing in her power. She's very independent and I feel like this girl ran away from him after, you know, this person broke her heart and just focused on the money thing with regards to the girl. So with the buy the book and mending, so it's still mending, okay? It's just going in with the flow of whatever the divine um is assigning him to do. With this whole place like home and higher power, so I'm really sensing here like he's scared of women that are very dominant. Could be he encounter um a karmic person that's really dominant over him okay it's not really wise and authentic and right now it's not really looking for love right now because i see in your reading i'm sorry in the reading here that this person is to focus on the past person that's why it's not searching for anyone anymore and I feel like this person is also a bit scared of the reality because, of course, reality breaks hearts, right? Like the truth hurts. But yet, I feel like he's learning to be at peace with it, okay? And now he's re realized how important authenticity is and how to acknowledge actually inner wisdom here. So he's learning from his mistakes. He's single right now, scared to choose someone else because it might be, again, another karmic, okay? So, I really feel here that he's really stressed out with regards to his love life because he's moving on, okay? So, with that to be fair here and a leg up. So, I feel like he's also realizing that he didn't treat the right person the right way okay so i feel like with the leg up is really choosing the person that's gave him this okay instead of somebody that's not resonating with him okay so 
Okay, so this person, though he has a lot of regrets in the past, he's still working. Okay, um, but I feel like he's a bit scared of losing whomever the woman was who showed him what true love is. That's also the vibe that I get here. Like, he keeps on coming back to that person, um, keeps on thinking about her, but I feel like he's being stopped from reaching out because until now the girl is upset about him and she might mistreat Dino so the angels say that they are not giving Dino a sign that he will approach because of course in the girl's end she needs to show that you know she still cares um, to this person because based on the reading here she's detached that's what I sense Okay, and she's not even thinking about Dino. That's that's also what I get here. Like she put it, um, she keep it. What they call this? Because I see it here. Okay. Like she's trying to move on. She's trying not to think about it. With this time for nap card. So is there anything else? That's it, they say. So the angels say Dino is somebody who's rebellious. Like, um, if ever, let's say, the divine will say something to him, he will do the other way around kind of thing. So right now he's realizing how important it is to listen to the intuition. Because that's what he failed to do. Or listen to even the hunches. So I feel like Dino has spiritual gifts. With regards to sensing, okay, if ever a person is a good person or not, he's, I feel like he's divinely guided, that's what I'm sensing. And I really feel like misfortunes happen because of him not actually listening to the divine guidance, okay? So now he's really regretting a lot of not acknowledging his hunches, the red flags, etc. So he's going towards the flow of spirituality here. He's becoming more closer to God and, you know, kind of acknowledging his spiritual gifts, Okay, so is there anything else? Okay, the angels say this is Escobes. Um, <laughs> the angels say upgrade because he hasn't he hasn't yet in this kind of phase. Okay, he's still somebody who's hesitant to admit mistakes. Um, so but he's working on with regards to being humble. The angels say because what's important is he's acknowledging it. They tell me so anyway is there anything else that's it they say so anyway this will be i don't know if i will be able to do the part two with other members because i just can't um release it in a whole video because imagine they are 13 <laughs> okay and yeah that's it for a while <laughs> okay anyway thank you for watching guys and sending you all peace love and light bye